Hi, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another Smart Figure. After watching this video, you should be able to describe what mineral habit is and how it's useful for identifying different minerals. Take a look at this beautiful museum quality specimen of the mineral quartz. You'll notice the long prismatic crystals poking out in every direction, the characteristic little striations on the sides of those crystal faces. It's a beautiful example of a mineral crystal. But many minerals don't get a chance to attain that beautiful shape. Instead, they grow up under rather cramped circumstances, hemmed in by surrounding minerals, and so they end up taking on rather lumpy, disorganized looking shapes. The shape that a mineral will grow into if it gets the chance and has sufficient space is called its habit. Here's an example of the mineral pyrite in two of its different characteristic habits. On the left is a chunky pyritohedron, and on the right is a series of interlocking cubic shaped pyrite crystals. You can see how they have slightly different forms, and those forms are distinctive to this mineral. Other distinctive habits are listed here. In the upper left, you can see the fibrous mineral habit that's typical of the asbestos minerals. In the right, you can see a bladed mineral habit. In the lower right, you've got a cubic mineral habit. And in the lower left, you've got a banded mineral habit. That's typical of agate. These habits basically are shapes that are formed from the arrangement of the basic unit cell of the mineral. So these are the, the smallest sort of arrangement of elements that can be called uh, an example of that mineral. So for example, that little cube you see up at the top of that octahedron, that little cube is an example of the unit cell for the mineral magnetite. When you put a bunch of those little unit cells together, you end up getting a nice octahedral shape, assuming that it's not hemmed in by any surrounding obstacles. Other examples here are the cubic shape of fluorite and the dodecahedral shape of garnet. Now, if you consider that dodecahedron of garnet and you compare it to the situation I showed earlier where a mineral was growing up under rather cramped circumstances, challenge yourself to come up with three possible factors that are essential for a mineral to take on its full habit and not grow up in a cramped, misshapen form. Hopefully you came up with having enough space, that's the obvious one. Also having enough time to grow, minerals don't form instantaneously, and it takes time to get all those little atoms in their right places. And then lastly, you need to have enough of the ingredients, you need to have enough of the atoms themselves, the elements that make up that mineral, in order to grow a nice, big, perfect crystal. So mineral habit is a really important characteristic that can help us distinguish which mineral we're looking at, provided we've got a nice, fully grown example of that mineral. Thank you for your attention. This has been another smart figure.